Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back again with another episode. Well, do you have any good ideas for the special? What special? It's Independence Day weekend, the 4th of July. Oh yeah, of course, I knew about that. Well, what's it about? Um, McDonald's. McDonald's? What does McDonald's have to do with Independence Day? Well, what's more American than McDonald's? Well, I guess, but there isn't any McDonald's action figures. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and they're from the 70s. Jesus bending Christ, not more Mego. They're not Mego. They might as well be. It's the McDonald Land Characters Figures by Remco from 1976! What were you gonna review if it wasn't the 4th of July? Uh, same thing. Oh, uh, what the f- Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> In 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt is elected to an unprecedented third term, Robin the Boy Wonder debuts, and in San Bernardino, California, Richard and Maurice McDonald open a humble hamburger stand. Focusing on speed and efficiency, the McDonald brothers revolutionized the industry, creating a model for fast food businesses moving forward. These guys had a great thing going, but it wouldn't last long. Enter small town loser turned slime bag supreme, Ray Kroc. Kroc was a failed businessman hawking milkshake machines before meeting the McDonald brothers. The McDonald brothers had already franchised nine more McDonald's locations from the original when Kroc was able to grab the company from under their noses in a real estate scam that would make Lex Luthor proud. Naming himself founder, Kroc would go on to fame and fortune while the McDonald brothers would fade into obscurity. A lot of what we associate with McDonald's is owed to Kroc, but seriously, fuck that guy. Anyway, in 1963, McDonald's realizing the untapped potential market of children moved forward by replacing their old Mr. Speedy mascot with Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown. He's Ronald McDonald, the hamburger happy clown, a McDonald's drive-in restaurant is his favorite place in town. Thanks to pop culture dingbats like famed alcoholic Stephen King, clowns nowadays are portrayed as scary or creepy characters. But back then, clowns were fun. By 1971, Ronald would evolve to a more familiar look that would define the character to this day. And he was about to get some friends. Enter McDonald Land. Inspired by Sid and Marty Croft's H.R. Puffin Stuff psychedelic children's program, ad company Needham, Harper & Steers created a series of ads set in a McDonald's-themed world starring Ronald McDonald and friends, boiling plots by ridiculously gimmicked villains attempting to steal McDonald's food. Anyway, the commercials were bonkers. Folks don't believe the super fruitiness of bonkers fruit candy. They learn soon enough. Not that bonkers, but you get the point. And it wasn't just commercials. The entire restaurant was reimagined as kid-centric with special seating areas, architecture, and even a playground. Eventually, Sid and Marty Croft would pursue damages from McDonald's regarding copyrighted character infringement. This would eventually mean curtains for some of the McDonald Land characters. But in the 1970s and 80s, McDonald's was like a mini Disneyland right there in your town. And just like Disney, McDonald Corp pimped out their characters on a ton of merchandise. 
which leads us to the focus of today's episode, the McDonaldland Characters Figures by Remco from 1976. Remco was a toy company that produced all kinds of stuff from the 1940s to the 1990s. Bought out and traded around over the years, Remco is now owned by the toy industry's town idiot, Jack's Pacific. In 1976, Remco released a line of clothed action figures based on the McDonaldland characters. Like most of what Remco produced, the figures are sturdy, high quality, and imaginative. All but one of the seven characters have an action feature that allows the player to control the head via a knob in the back of the figure. The craziest thing about these figures to me is that they exist at all. I mean, think about it. A freaking fast food company was so big and so popular that a real pedigreed toy company created a line of figures that were sold in stores alongside Spider-Man and Captain Kirk. But Remco went the extra mile and recreated the setting for the commercials in which these wacky characters came from. The McDonald Land playset is awesome. Floor mat, backdrop, a train set, and everything you remember from the commercials. Remco went above and beyond the Call of Duty here and came through with a real all-timer, in my opinion. Friend of the show and Mego Type 2 fat body enthusiast, John Wilde was able to score me a mostly complete playset at a great price with most of the figures to boot. Thanks, John! I got all seven of these fast food figures, so let's check out Remco's McDonaldland figures from 1976. All right, so here it is. I'm um, from 1976 by Remco Toys Incorporated. It is the McDonaldland characters. Um, these were sold in retail stores like Kmart. Um, the, you'll call it Kresge, I'm sure. Kmart, Toys R Us, uh, Woolworth. Uh, and stay out of the Woolworth. Um, all the, all the greats, all the things that you remember. Recommended for children under three years of age, 1976, McDonald's System, Inc. And uh, all rights reserved, I suppose. Uh, we've got a lot of the little R's circled around here. Great little piece of art featuring all of the McDonald Land characters. We have the uh, we have uh, Big Mac, Officer Mac, if you will. We we have Captain Crook, the Professor. We have Mayor McCheese, the Hamburglar, the Grimace, and of course, in the package brand new, never been opened until now, Ronald McDonald. I did have a loose one, um, gave it to Raz Holly. Thought he might get some get some good use out of it. I, I expect Raz Holly to do a review on these figures here in the future, but for right now, let's take a look at this one. Um, what a nice looking package. What a great looking package, not unlike the classic Mego style packages. These are in the roughly the same scale as a classic Mego figure. We'll take one out for scale here in a minute after we get these all open. Um, this is the only one I have in the box. However, um, we do have Ronald in the box. So let's take a look at the back. We have the collect them all or cross sell if you will. Ronald McDonald, Big Mac, Hamburglar, Grimace, Mayor McCheese, Captain Crook, The Professor, and the goddamn McDonald Land playset. Holy shit! And that's even got a nice little checklist here. Um, so if you were trying to track down every goddamn thing that came with it, and of course mine's incomplete at the moment, looking for a couple more pieces just to get it complete uh, for display to looking nice and good. Um, I'll have some photos of what I do have available in, in some of these uh, figures we'll, we'll have out there. It's got a wind up train set with engine, passenger car, and Hamburglar. What? Oh, it's showing everything that we have here. Uh, seven sections of track, stop and go switch track, the 
30 by 39 and a half Playland surface, plus 11 inch backdrop. McDonald's restaurant with table, bench, hamburger, drink and tray, apple pie tree with swing, golden arches bridge, one pair of stilts and base, letterland stationery, figures not included, I, I, figures not included, fucking Hamburglar is listed with the passenger car. So did Hamburglar come with the set? You could, if you bought the fucking play set, it came with Hamburglar. That would actually be pretty cool. You buy this fucking set, because I'm sure it was not, it was not cheap back in the day um, by Remco. Everybody knows that Remco kicks the dicks in of all the other toy companies, or at least I think that's what the commercial said. Made in Hong Kong exclusively, exclusively for Remco Toys Incorporated. New York, New York, 10010. Right down the street from our friends at Mego. And, and speaking of Mego, these are very close to it. But I know what everybody's waiting for. And you want me to open this goddamn thing up. And I'm still enjoying it. I'm still... Look at how fucking beautiful it looks. I love the fucking packaging. It's, it's almost... It's almost like I don't want to open it up, but I'm still going to fucking open it up because that's what we do here on the Dan Classic Show, and I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to open this shit up, and we're going to see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so we have some twist ties here. Um, just one little twist and pull on the back here. Um, this isn't his dick sticking out of the back, if you're wondering. They have all the figures, with the exception of one, have an action feature, um, and there it is right there. I'm gonna get this other crap out of the way, and we'll take a look at the figure in, in one moment. Uno momento, por favor. All right, so here is Ronald McDonald outside of the box. And man, I gotta say, he looks great. He looks great for being nearly, what, 1976? It's, he's getting to be almost 50 years old here. Um, the, the, pretty goddamn close, if you will. Um, wow, wow, what a fucking figure. What an awesome looking figure we have here. Um, as I turn him around, we see the McDonald's logos emblazoned on his uh, pleather pockets on his cloth costume. We got a cloth costume. Um, the boots are molded on and uh, gloves molded on as well. He's got a uh, plugged hair, um, not too shabby. I mean, he's a clown, obviously, like, so he can look a little wacky and it looks nice. He looks nice. He has a friendly looking face, not scary at all. This isn't creepy. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, you know, maybe, maybe that's a little, it could be considered. <laughs> Got a little knob on the back here. You can control it. And it looks like a little penis sticking out of his back. Um, so you just uh, grab Ronald McDonald's cock and uh, you can move his head all about. And uh, yeah, freaking awesome. I love these figures. He's like, huh? What? Hey, who? <laughs> Lots of fun, um, nice little action feature as if I don't think they necessarily needed one, but they put it in there and I'm glad that they did because that's what makes, really what makes these things stand out. And you know, you might've thought that these were made by Mego, but nope, made by Remco because they're in about in the same scale. We'll take a look at a Mego figure for scale here in just a minute, but let's take a look at the next figure we got after Ronald McDonald. And so here he is, uh, fresh from the McDonald's State Penitentiary. It is uh, the Grimace, uh, my Grimace. Um, and you will see this is going to be a, uh, a running theme in this episode, is that every single one of these, with the exception of Ronald McDonald's, is missing fucking something. Um, over the, the almost 50 years that they've been around in the world, um, they're going to lose accessories, they're going to lose pieces of their costumes, they're not going to be in the best of shape. Um, this one is in not too bad a shape. I had two of these. They were both missing their hat brim, obviously. I tried to make a hat brim out of fucking vinyl, but it's so hot that the vinyl just kind of flopped around and almost melted. So so who gives a shit? He's got like just a little cap on um, right now. Maybe I'll make a, another, another uh, 
lid for his fucking hat, a brim, um, if you will. He's a cool looking figure. He's got the head motion. He can move his head up and down and left and right. And uh, all with the, just, just grab onto that little fucking pecker right there in the back. And it's really fucking cool. These are really, really neat figures. I was fascinated by these. I had never seen one before um, in, in real life. I knew they had existed and I was just fascinated with them, but I, I was looking for them forever and never really found one for a good price. And then our friend, your friend, my friend, the friend, friend of the world, friend of the friendless, hit the, the Pope. Pope John Wilde the first um, picked up an entire, nearly entire set, almost complete set of these figures with the play set um, for a hell of a price. Uh, thank you, John Wilde, for, for hooking it up um, and making making my McDonald Land dreams come true. And that is the Hamburglar. All right, and next up is Captain Crook. Um, he is a he's a pirate sea captain. His clothes are fucking falling off. Looks like he had little uh, uh, fucking scrambled eggs or epaulets or whatever the fucking he had epilepsy. Fucking something that he had on his shoulders here. Um, and he has a little scarf around his neck, um, which keeps his um, his action feature from working properly. Um, look, I, th I think I just broke his neck. Um, alright, well that's fine, whatever, his, bro his neck's kind of broken, whatever. He still looks great, he's, kinda, he's missing his sword, he originally did come with a sword, um, he's still pretty cool, he's got his little pirate boots, his cloth pants, cloth shirt, with a little freaking blousy bullshit coming out of the sleeves there, um, nice little figure, nice sculpt on him, if you remember him from the commercials, if you're a hundred years old, look, his neck still works, he's still fine, kind of, um, yeah. He's, maybe he was broken when I got him and the guy tied this thing on super tight just so I wouldn't notice that the thing was fucking broken. It doesn't really matter. He's great for display and, uh, and you know, he's fucking almost 50 years old. Look, it's fucking like his goddamn dick's gonna come out. Maybe I can just break this off and just stick it on the front. So he's got his, his pecker sticking out of the front. He's like, ha, look at my dick. I'm a pirate. Anyway, that is Captain Crook. All right, so to finish out the and the rest characters, uh, here is the professor. Um, he did come with a little wrench that he does that would go in his little pocket. He has a real pocket here that he can keep shit in. Um, I don't have that, um, but otherwise he is pretty complete. He's got two pairs of glasses, one on top of his head, one on his over his eyes. There, he's like, oh, I lost my glasses. I'm the professor. Um, way cooler looking than he looks in the commercials. Honestly, got a more of a cartoonish look. He's got a toothbrush and a barber pole and a fucking a pair of pliers in his pocket there. It's a little decal. Um, his jacket is filthy as fuck, but his neck still works. This is the most common figure you're going to find online uh, in the box, in the package. Nobody gives a shit about the professor. Um, he is the long forgotten McDonald Land character. When they had the big lawsuit and they had to get rid of some of these awesome characters, uh, they didn't have to get rid of the professor, but they got rid of him anyway because he sucked ass. Um, he's completely fucking just not inspired, just kind of wacky, like the, the absent-minded professor, just sort of a thing that almost a trope. He's got short little arms, but he's neat looking. He looks like the guy from the fucking commercial, and if you didn't have him here, he, he might be, you know, conspicuous by his absence. So that is the professor. All right, and speaking of uh, figures that are kind of broken, here is my Big Mac figure. Um, I looked and searched and and, uh, and and sought throughout the net trying to find um, a, a nearly complete uh, Big Mac. I did find one in a set with a couple other figures. I ended up giving um, a couple extras over to Raz Holly. This was in it, and I got him for a really good price, so I'm not too worried about his broken, stupid neck, but it is broken. So um, his his... He can still kind of turn it around a little bit, um, but the, yeah, you can't move it back forward. He's 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 kind of he's well. Hey, nope, no, he's done for. He he's he's not not working very well. Um, his neck is broken. Um, I don't know if it can be fixed. And quite frankly, I don't give a shit. Having these things in perfect working order wasn't necessarily ever the goal. 
The original figure did come with a whistle. He does not have that, but he does have his belt. He has his little star and he has his complete outfit, which is a big deal because a lot of times you can't find these. Oh, look, and his fucking ass is sticking out of the back of his pants. Um, pull your pants up. Fucking Big Mac, Jesus Christ. Um, so y you may have seen this guy recently on some pop figures and been like, why the fuck is there a, a cop burger? Um, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> the, that's for McDonald's. You, but if you, you know, kids of the 80s, well remembered, will remember the, the, the jail, uh, the jailhouse fucking, um, thing the play playpen whatever it was that they had there it, at mcdonald's in the playland that was based on this motherfucker's head and this here there he is this is this is officer mac or big mac whatever you want to call him um i do think he's i'm my favorite thing about these these figures about this line of figures rather is the burger face guys the burger face guys are so fucking cool they're so just just interesting looking um they remind me a lot of food fighters if you remember food fighters from back in the day uh speaking of something from the old days that people will rake you over the coals for online um including these but um, I was able to get this on a deal. I'm so glad I did because I really love this figure. But here he is. It's Officer Mac. All right, and here is the Grimace. And as my nephew will say, nothing can stop the Grimace. He really only says that because I told it to him, and now he he won't shut the fuck up about it. But anyway, there he is. It's the Grimace, and he's purple, and he doesn't have any sort of action feature. The only sort of hard plastic on him are his feet and his uh, his eyes, eyebrows, and mouth. Um, that you can kind of move around a little bit. You can kind of give him a, huh? What? Um, or you can be like, huh? I'm fucking angry. I'm the angry Grimace. Um, no, he, he does. Let's give him a more of a friendly, friendly look there, uh, or a more quizzical look on the Grimace. He has little felt hands, um, but th he's pretty much a beanbag, um, and he's covered in in purple fur. He's like a stuffed animal's. Like if you've ever handled an old uh, stuffed animal that has that this shit in it, the foam or whatever it was, the foam little the bits or whatever it was. I don't know that maybe he's been repaired at one time or another. He does have a little glue on him, um, but he looks great, honestly. I mean, like, th there's not much you can do to break this fucking thing unless you tore it apart, unless you had, like, a dog just fucking tear this goddamn thing apart. He's just a piece of felt filled with little little styrofoam beads, um, but he looks great on display. It's the Grimace. He's as recognizable as any of the McDonald Land characters and one of my favorites and also one of the hardest ones to find online. Took me fucking forever to find one. Paid way more than I wanted to for this, but glad I got it uh, and finally had him in my collection. That's the Grimace. All right, and finally, here he is. It is uh, the mayor of McDonald Land, um, as his clothes are fucking falling off here. It is my favorite character from the line, Mayor McCheese. He comes with his little glasses that, that are attached to this string on his wrist. Um, he's very cool looking. He's got like a quarter pounder with cheese for a head. Um, his mayor sash, his little boutonniere um, with like a, almost like a pearl inside of it, a nice little collar, um, like a stripy fucking pants on. Um, nice looking little outfit. His, his head function works perfectly as it did almost 50 years ago. Um, and there he is. And, and I liked it that the, they had the voice. Um, he was basically a rip off of HR Puff and stuff, but you know what? Fuck Sid and Marty Croft. Um, they didn't invent the Ed Wynn voice. You know what I mean? Like fucking Ed Wynn invented the, I said, I'm the mayor, don't you know? Come on. Like that's fucking how he talked. Um, pretty fucking cool. Uh, he was doing the, the, the Mad Hatter or whatever sort of voice that you might remember from Alice in Wonderland. Um, and, and God damn, what a cool looking figure. If I was only ever going to get one of these, it wasn't going to be Ronald McDonald. It was going to be the, the, the mayor himself. The Honorable Mayor McCheese, and I am so happy to have him in my collection. All right, so I busted out Captain Kirk here. Um, he is the OG Captain Kirk from the old school 1970s Mego lines, one of my favorite fucking things I own. 
and I'm gonna line them up right here next to Ronald McDonald, who I just busted out of the package. And as you can see, these things are pretty much very close to being in scale with each other. You can imagine uh, the, the whole gang from Star Trek fucking beaming down into McDonald land and being like, how strange, this is so fucking crazy. I wonder if there's anything I can fuck here. Oh my, Spock, Spock, look at my dick, Spock. Anyway, uh, fucking, so yeah, Ronald McDonald, fucking great figure. Um, and you know what they did? So not too long ago, Huckleberry um, came out with their own line of McDonald Land characters. I do believe these might have been Comic-Con exclusives just a few years ago, not too long ago. Um, they set out to recreate the McDonald Land characters by Remco, this uh, company Huckleberry that no one has ever heard of and hasn't heard of since. Um, back 2008, so yeah, I mean it was a while a while back, um, <laughs> but uh, not too long ago, over a decade ago, but still not too long ago in the grand scheme of things when you're looking at things that are over almost 50 years old. Um, we have the McDonald Land characters by Huckleberry. This is Ronald McDonald, and you will find some folks online, the not too savory folks, that are looking to rake you over the coals and might try to fool you with one of these things. Uh, make Fool you into thinking that this is a vintage figure from the 1970s. And it's not a vintage figure yet. It's not even 20 years old yet. When this hits 20, we can fucking talk vintage. But uh, until then, uh, this is basically a brand new figure. Um, they they recreated the the... The sort of they tried to recreate the look of the package. It's a little brighter. Um, you know what? I, who knows how bright the original package was all those years ago? And on the back we have uh, Mayor McCheese, the Grimace, Ronald McDonald, Captain Crook, and the Hamburglar. They look a little different than their uh, their old school counterparts. Um, and notice no Officer Mac, no Professor. The Professor has been forgotten. Not that we care. Uh, so let's take a look and see what this goddamn thing looks like on the inside. So we've got twist ties and bullshit and son of a bitch bastard motherfucker. 2008 to, to the 1970s, um, as you can tell, uh, things things haven't haven't been good to us here in the future where we can't just make a fucking package where something will stick in there. We could have just had one of these, you know? One would have done just fine. I would have been completely satisfied and happy with one. We had to get both legs down, because it's like fucking, God damn it, you know, Lord knows. If we didn't have both legs tied down, the whole fucking package might fall apart. These are load-bearing twist ties. And it's, God damn it! All right, hold on, I gotta get this thing open. All right, so I've, I've got him out of the box, and um, as you can see, he's in a, a, a slightly different scale. Um, got some more glossy paint on, on New Ronald over here. We've got um, pretty much the same costume. This is actually uh, a, a, maybe a separate fabric piece as opposed to, this looks like a decal on this one. Um, he has some slight differences. Uh, the McDonald's logos, we got the complete McDonald's logo on all three of the pockets. Not that that fucking matters because its head looks like shit. He looks like absolute shit, honestly. Um, you know what? Motherfuckers are selling these stupid things, the new ones, the repros. They're selling them online. They're selling them online for $60, $75, $85, $117. $117. And they, they don't hold a candle to the original. To the original by Remco. And what is even worse, we turn the figure around we turn the figure around. And we've got no action feature. And remember how we had the legs tied down? Wow, that man, that would have been a fucking disaster, right? If his fucking leg was, oh my God, if that was able to, to fly out like that in the box. It's a good thing. It's a good thing Fuckleberry put those goddamn 
twist ties in there. You do have a little bit more detail on the boots, um, but honestly, this is just a cheap cash grab to, to try to, to benefit off of fucking nostalgia. It's a piece of shit. Fuck that thing, get that, get it out of my face. Go away. This is the original figure and still the best, still the champ, uh, Ronald McDonald uh, by Remco Toys. These things are fucking great. All right, so at the end of the day, um, these are great, great vintage figures from the 1970s. Again, almost 50 years old here. Uh, we have sitting here these classic, classic figures. Remco did an awesome job, and it shows. It really shines through, through the ages, um, that a, a t like just a, a, a little idea, like a, for a commercial, some dumb fast food fucking restaurant commercials spawned uh, a world, a land, if you will, of, of amazing characters um, that, that to this day still capture the imaginations of the young and old like. And, and as you can tell, I'm a big fucking fan of these. These are awesome. I'm super glad that they're in my collection. That I have a, a semi-complete set here. Um, if not a little, a little battered, a little bruised, a little used, a little loved, but not too fucking bad. Uh, these things are great figures. I recommend that if you want to get these things, just be patient. You will find them, and you can find them for a good price. You just. You just gotta wait it out. You will find you will find them for a good price if you gotta piece them out. If you gotta just find them piece by piece. If you if you get a if you get one that's naked but works, and then you get the costume on one that's broken, you can save yourself a lot of money in the long run if you're just patient. So just be patient. You can get these things too. It's the McDonald Land figures, the McDonald Land characters figures by Remco, and I am so glad they're in my collection. Happy 4th of July, motherfuckers! Well, that's McDonald Land characters figures by Remco. What did you think of these figures? Let us know in the comments down below. Well, I think you better start planning now for next year's 4th of July special. I don't know, Taco Bell? Will you be serious? Happy 4th of July, everybody! Raz Holly, hit the music!